I'm Psionic Kevin, and welcome to the first episode of Clutch Academy. Here we'll bring you inside the mind of the Clutch player as I break down the round into smaller segments. In this round, we're doing an A take on Bind. After clearing CT, I get the retrade on the Omen and also happen to pick up the Brimstone in U-Haul. Our Sage dies to kill Joy in Heaven, and she calls that she's Dink, so I shoot a preemptive Shock Dart as I pick up Bomb. Knowing that she has ult, I fake TP to B and run back to A as soon as possible to fake her out, and it works out perfectly. With sight completely open and free to plant and time for me to get off of sight and play a post plant, I plant in the open for both bathrooms and also short. I rotate out of bathrooms and I shoot a dart towards heaven. At this point, Killjoy should either be at CT or heaven by the time the dart lands. Knowing that she's not revealed in heaven, I know she could be walking out CT or just hiding behind the wall in heaven. I wait patiently for the audio cues on site because I know she can't come through flank because of the turret and market. I play off the bomb with my ult, listening for the diffused audio cue, and my second and third shots with the ult were off to the side since I didn't think she would have the balls to stick it. Knowing that she's on the bomb, I just swing wide and confirm the kill to secure the round. This next round on ascent is an A take on a full save. As we push onto A site, we are able to trade out and I happen to pick up a Spectre next to Jen before I plant. My Sova dies as I finish up the plant and so I'm ready to engage on the people who are pushing me in heaven. I wall myself up with the Sage Wall mechanic while also leaving a gap inside of the site so I can shoot at the other off angle towards Tree Room. If you guys didn't know, there's a Sage mechanic where if you wall over the spike, the part of the wall that is on it will break, leaving a gap where it was. As I go up, I know that no one's instantly peeking me in heaven, so I go for a reload and a slow. I spot the sage jumping onto me as I throw my slow, and I happen to just frag out and kill the yeoman while also dinking the sage. At this point, I know that sage is going to burn her heel, and Jet is breaking the garage door. I throw a slow into the corner of the wall, and I jump before the slow actually affects me, so I'm able to cross without being seen. At this point, I just wait in this right corner, crouched, and I hear the jet audio cue as she updrafts. As she flits around the corner, I right click her in the head and the sage for a clean double classic full save round. We're back on A short, working up to A site on bind again. In you hold? I have my wall out in case we get an early pick and I can wall off the Phoenix ult. But everyone ends up dying faster than I expected, so I just swing out and trade one of them. After backing off and resetting, I look for another 1v1 Ego Peak engagement, which the Phoenix swings on me, so I take him out and I start walking towards bathrooms. At this point in a 1v3, I have res, and I'm looking for another pick before I use a res to turn it into an even 2v2. From earlier, I do know that Jet was opping on A site, so as I walk into bathrooms, I find the tripwire and I hop it just to swing and find her on top of triple. I immediately turn to pick up the Phantom so I don't have to reload and res my teammate. While he's getting res, I step on the trap wire and break it because I know that would encourage one of the players on the other team to peek the rest body while I'm on the trap wire and then I swing off of the animation of the res since I know I have a small window to catch him before he gets to kill my teammate. 
This works out perfectly as I secure the headshot onto Cypher, and I wall off the left side so I can plant before the timer runs out. Once the enemy brim smokes, I play inside the smoke to have my eight rays play off of me, but the brim decides to save and we just secure the round. What? He just ran. This 1v2 in mid, I know I can swing out and get one of them as a trade, and so I catch his jet as she's reloading in mid. I think the Cypher on my next repeat with the Phantom, and so I know he's very, very low. After pre-firing and reloading, Cypher throws his cage and I drop my turret inside of it, because I know as long as I keep the cross and spray mark it while the cage is up, if he pushes into the cage or crosses after, the turret will kill him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hopefully you guys learned something new from today's video. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, leave a like and let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new and don't forget to follow me on Twitch and the social media links down below.